Good evening. An out-of-control wildfire continues to grow in a dangerous area near Tejeras, and because of the danger, fighting this fire is proving to be especially difficult. News 13's Alex Tomlin is live at the Cibola National Forest headquarters. Alex? Dick, right now, the fire, the main fire, has already burned 200 acres, and it's hard to tell how much land is actually burning right now. That's because crews are having to battle the blaze mainly from the sky. See, the fire is burning in Department of Defense land, where live ammunition is buried. Because of that, fire crews cannot work the flames from the ground due to safety hazards. There are three air tankers that are dropping uh, slurry, uh, what we would call mud, on the fire and that reduces the temperature and it will kind of keep it cooler and hopefully eventually go out. I think the, the uh, biggest thing for the community to realize is that this fire is contained within that withdrawal land right now and uh, it's not a threat to the community. There are no evacuations in place. Officials have called in new resources to help them, including Navajo scouts. They want to make sure that if the fire goes off the military land it's currently on, they'll be ready with the fire line. Dick? All right, Alex. 160 firefighters are working this place around the clock. Rising temperatures and falling humidity over the last few days have made the conditions much more difficult up there. And a couple of fires are burning up in the four corners. One of them is called the Naraguinep. It's about 12 miles southeast of Dove Creek, Colorado. It's up to almost 5,000 acres. Another fire burning nearby has been slugged the Bradfield fire. Both are throwing up a lot of smoke, but so far no structures are threatened. However, a lookout tower and a small cabin have been evacuated as a precaution. About 150 firefighters are working those blazes and more are arriving.